Oh, this video is a translation of Jung Jung Young PD's live chat Q&A he did on TVN's YouTube channel. And the live chat Q&A was to celebrate the new season, season 3 of The Great Escape on March 1st. First, I just want to give a huge shout out to Reddit user MK9394 for helping me with the translations in this video. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background first on how I found the live chat because it'll help you understand where the screen captures are coming from. So first, I actually saw a YouTube video from the user Bang Taichu Kichu Munje, and I saw that they had posted a video compilation of the Q and A. So that's how I first knew about the fact that there was a Q and A. And then afterwards, I was looking at the screen caps they took, and I noticed that. There was a little like wrench icon beside the PD, so like when he typed out his comments. So I realized that was from a YouTube um, live chat, and I went to TVN's channel because I had a feeling that they were the one who were who was hosting it. So on TVN's channel, especially the community page, I was able to find that they did in fact host the live chat. And then from there, they had a post afterwards linking to the Facebook page. The Facebook page is actually for the genius, but I think they're just keeping it for the great escape as well. And on the Facebook page, they compiled like a neater version of the live chat including the questions. So first I'll be showing the all the compilation photos from the Facebook page and then afterwards I'm including some other comments that were inside the YouTube video but not actually in the Facebook photos. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to ask me and leave a comment if you have any questions or want some clarification. And I hope you enjoy this video and get to learn something new from the director. I'm generally going to show the slide for a couple seconds and hopefully you can read everything within that time. I may also have commentary to share my thoughts for certain, um, certain Q&A, but Otherwise, if I don't have any comments or thoughts, I'm just going to leave it silent so you can read. I'm really glad that someone asked them about the washroom question because honestly, it was a question I'm, I was really curious about myself. So for the first question, the PD said that he was really satisfied with Hope Institute. And I think that was an episode that also stood out to me just because I remember like the coordinated escape efforts and then the whole like tower scene with them receiving the recorder and then needing to use the speakers was also fascinating and super cool to watch. Just for anyone who can't quite remember, Murder Prison is the last episode of season two where they had the parallel timelines. 
and Evil Prison is in towards the end of season one, where they were in the shaman's house. I think it's really cute that someone asked about the cost of production and I'm glad that his response is that there's no problem so far with the program and the production fees so hopefully they can keep going for a long time. I also think that the question if there's any plans to change the members is quite interesting and I'm happy with his response because I think the current cast gels together quite well and they have really good chemistry together. The only thing I'm a little sad about is that I wish they did have like some female members within the cast and it was something I also wanted to see more of on the genius because there's always like an imbalance in terms of the genders there. But for this program, I do think that, again, the current cast work together really well, so I'm still okay with them being the main members. 
I would like to see, however, probably some more female actors being featured because most of the time it's also male actors that are still featured. I'm really happy to see the last two comments because I was really curious about Murder Prison and I had my own theories about how it was filmed, but they didn't actually resolve it in episode 13 for season 2, so I'm glad that it's finally resolved. And also, I'm really happy because my theories were spot on in terms of how they filmed it, so yay! On this slide, I'm just showing one comment. This is actually the pinned comment in the YouTube video. And this, like the particular comment I highlighted in the box actually wasn't included in the YouTube video and also from the Facebook compilation. So I'll just translate it now. It says, Kim Dong-young is a clever slash bright entertainer but at the same time I think he doesn't have knowledge <laughs> 